<laughs> You're gonna throw me under the bus? Like my mom is watching this. <laughs> but here's the truth. So this is my Christmas makeup, just very natural. Today is Christmas morning. I started opening up my gifts as soon as I woke up and then I was like, okay, I need to stop because I wanted to open some of my gifts with you. Today is a day that I remember how special it was growing up, how special my mom made it, how special my grandma made it. So I am trying to continue these traditions, even though this has been a special and a little bit of a strange Christmas for me because I spent it alone at home in Miami with Gabby. It was just the two of us and we really tried to make the best out of it. In this video, the first portion of the video, I'm gonna show you what I got for Christmas. And in the second part of the video, if you're interested in staying, then you're going to be able to see everything we did on the 24th, how we had our little dinner together, what we did when we first woke up this morning, leading up to this point where I'm sitting down and I'm recording the video for you. Let's start by saying that I didn't really expect to be getting Christmas gifts this year. It was a real, real surprise for me. I was not expecting this at all. This is a Rolex. And I didn't ask for this. I've never looked at this watch. I had no idea about, you know, wanting to get a watch. So I got this from a very, very special person that honestly put a huge, huge smile on my face. So thank you, thank you so much. This completely caught me off guard and it's beautiful. I did open it up when it was given to me. I just put it back in the box and I said I would wear it until Christmas. So I am just so happy to show you this so I can finally wear it because I've been dying to wear it. Honestly, this is such a beautiful and feminine watch. I love it. I'm just going to put it on now because I'm never going to take it off. I know that you can shower with it. You never need to take it off. I'm over the moon about it. It's so, so beautiful. And it was just such an unexpected gift. I remember the moment I got it, I my face was just blank. Like, I didn't know how to react because it was just something that was such a surprise. I'm one of those people, it's really, really, really hard to surprise me. I always know what's going on and I always know what I'm going to get or, you know, I plan my purchases. This is something that came completely out of left field and it really did put a huge smile on my face. And I love that it's in two-tone because that way I can wear it whenever I'm wearing white gold or wearing yellow gold. I really never have to take it off. The second gift I'm going to show you is in this Hermes box. This is a gift from me to me. So I knew that I was going to get this. It was just that I couldn't wear it until Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and open it up with you. It's always such a treat to open up these orange boxes. But I wonder if you guys know what it is. It's not a bag. And if you know me, you know what I love. It is, what do you guys know I love? You guys know I love shoes. So I got this pair of Koran sandals, which I adore this color. Right now, Hermes has so many beautiful colors that just came out for this season, like blue, baby blue, yellow, orange, red, but I wanted something that I could wear with all my outfits. And what I love about this gold color in this box leather is that it resembles my skin tone and I can wear it with everything. And it looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, now look at these beauties. 
The black Hermes orange sandals are the epitome of elegance. This is my next gift and I just think that this isn't just a style statement, it's a timeless classic. These sandals are incredibly versatile and they're ideal for both casual and formal occasions and black is just a color that complements everything. This next gift I love. Here we have an exquisite navy Hermes Twilly. Twillies are just like the ultimate versatile accessory. They're perfect for adding a pop of color to your bag or as a chic hair tie or even as a unique bracelet or belt. This navy shade with this intricate design is just so sophisticated. This was such a cool complimentary gift to this. It's the Hermes nodding card. So basically it shows you all the different ways in which you can wear an Hermes scarf or an Hermes Twilly. It shows you the picture in the front and then when you turn the card around, it's so cool. It gives you the clear directions on how you can actually style it. Next gifts that I got to us is this one from Gabby. Gabby gave me three gifts, two of them. I already opened them. The first one was this huge, like, Korean skincare kit. I already used it this morning, so I'm not gonna even show it to you because it's already like dismantled in the bathroom and I loved it. My skin feels amazing. I didn't open up this one and I have no idea what it is because of the shape. The wrapping is so cute. Jacqueline put it under the Christmas tree last night as we were making um, as we were baking cookies and I was dying. <laughs> oh my god, that was so hard. What is this? Okay, so I want to tell you the story behind this. This is the, it's the boom brush. So this is a toothbrush that um, Kodaka took out. We saw this in the back store, in the Apple store in London. And then when we tried to find it here in Miami and in Paris, we, we didn't find it. So this is an electric toothbrush that has an app. You connect it to the app as you're brushing your teeth and it basically shows you where you're brushing or where you're missing um, to pass the toothbrush and it's overall for like the health of your teeth. For me this is something that it's very useful. I am obsessed with my teeth and I'm always like freaking out when I need to brush my teeth properly. So thank you so much Gabby. I don't know how you found this and I don't know how you managed to keep this one for me, wherever it was that you found it, but thank you so much. I love it because I'm going to be using it every day. Next gift are the Loro Piana Loafers in a stunning light powder pearl color. I've been dreaming of this shade to match my new Hermes Birkin 25. They're not just stylish, but they're also super comfortable and they're ideal for a day out or a relaxed evening. And here's the Pièce de Résistance, the Hermes Rodeo Charm in a light gray pale color. This charm is a game changer for personalizing my Hermes Birkin. It adds a playful yet elegant touch to the bag and the color coordination is just perfect. It's all about those little details that makes the big difference. I have learned a lot this year and one of the biggest things that I have learned is just like I am appreciative of just all the little moments that I can spend with somebody that I love a lot. It's like that moment for me is so special because I don't know if that's really the last moment that I am going to have with this person. You might be like, oh my God, Maria, your thinking is like so drastic. But I grew up with a lot of old people in my life. I grew up at home with my grandma. My grandma now is 92 years old. And I'm just so grateful for every single day, every minute that I, we get to have her here. Last week, she actually gave us a huge scare. I was so scared that like, you know, my grandma 
she's not going to be around this Christmas, but you know, she is here and she is, you know, she's 92 years old. So every single day, every single moment that we get to, you know, hear her, touch her, um, just be in her presence. She is my soulmate. She is the most elegant woman I've ever known in my entire life. And I am just so grateful that, you know, above all that I had one more year, one more gift, one more Christmas where I could, you know, still have my grandma. And I know that, you know, for some of you might be like, oh, this is supposed to be a what you have for Christmas video. And yes, it is. For me, having my grandma, my mom, my family, my uncles, my my cousins that I love so much, my friends that I love so much, that um, just put up with me, that take care of me, and that are always there for me just to try to almost put smiles on my face. For me, for me, that's honestly like the greatest, greatest gift. I know that Christmas is not that happy for a lot of people because there's a lot of, you know, a lot of us have lost people that are very dear to our hearts and my heart goes out to you if you have been in those situations. What I try to do is that I try to think of all the beautiful moments that I had with that person and all the love that I felt in my heart and how having the opportunity to have them in my life. For example, like I lost my dad in my first semester of college and of course I miss him so much. Instead of getting sad, I try to focus on all the beautiful moments that we spent together and all the beautiful things that he taught me and why I am the way that I am today, the little pieces of him in me that make me the way that I am. The same thing for my grandfather who passed away, which like, oh, he was my weakness. But he taught me how to love, and like how to express love to others and how to be that warm person that hugs, that tells you cute things, that maybe just goes up to somebody that doesn't, is not really asking you for anything, but you can tell that they need a hug. And just like walk up to them and just put a smile on, on their face. That's how I actually cope around the Christmas holidays and not having them around. And I just thought that I would give you that little tip just in case that, you know, you are going through the same thing as well. And then you have the other side, which, you know, normally I spend Christmas in a huge house with a lot of family, little kids, big kids, grandma, uncles. It's so chaotic and it's so nice and it's so fun. This year I wasn't able to do that. However, you know, we made it the best that we could. And uh, I am going to like now put in this second part of the video, if you're interested in keeping on watching, you're going to see everything that Gabby and I did yesterday on Christmas Eve, which was the 24th and 9th grade, and uh, what we did this morning, right before me sitting down and filming this video. So I really, really hope that you enjoy it. Thank you so much for, you know, being here with me and always being so supportive and giving me so much love to your comments and always just showing up with such a beautiful attitude. I think that I am very blessed to, throughout the years, have built a very positive and loving, you know, YouTube family. And I just really wanted to tell you from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. So you go precise and not don't no arrebate el biscotto, se va a romper. The thing is that I literally don't ever come into the kitchen. Like if Gabby's not around, like I'm gonna start or I'll Uber Eats or some Uber kitchen eats now. Like it. What? More Uber Eats. <laughs> You're gonna throw me under the bus. My family knows that I am like un cero a la izquierda in the kitchen. That's how they say it in Spanish, like just okay. completely useless. Okay, you have to really push because it's hard. I only know how to make like Dominican food, like mango. Ah, see. Sí. No, but you also know how to make uh, that Greek uh, stuffed pepper. Ah, yeah, that's cool. Esto va en la parte de afuera, no? No, no, it's fine. Ahí adentro. Yeah, like that, because then it ah, comes okay. out a little bit. Oh, this smells good. 
No, 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 no. ¿Quién te dijo de hacer eso? ¿Eat some of this? No, 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 te va a dar otro de la que ¿Es el sweet? Yes, but your belly is going to hurt because it's too sugary, wait. Can we please talk about your flowers from this morning? Like, honestly, <laughs> isn't it so special that we get to see, like, flowers, red flowers on Christmas? It's so yeah. cute. Right. Because, I mean, like, you know, you guys, like, might not realize this, but probably all of you, you know, the day of Christmas, you're, like, full, all your family, everybody's there, like, you have a big family, and, like, that's how we, how we grew up. So, for us, I think this is the first time I spend Christmas just one-on-one -on -one with another person. <laughs> like, we don't understand if we're happy because it's the first time, or if, like, it's kind of sad. <laughs> it's so <laughs> relaxing, like, we've done everything we wanted to do today, we had a lay-in, so... In that sense, it's really nice, really peaceful, and we can do whatever we want all day. So we're basically just trying to make the best out of it and like bring back some of those child memories because for us, those are traditions. And you know, like traditions is what makes you feel loved during like festive times, whenever you're away from your family. Yeah. That's kind of when you're like, you really feel how special they made it for you growing up. So this goes inside. No, no, no. Ah, uh, see, uh, uh, sí. like building a Lego situation. But then I'm not going to get it. I said, dedicada. Te dije que no. Okay, oh, okay, no, you no, do no. it, do it. <laughs> I'm so bad. Like, I almost destroyed her gingerbread house. This is the first time I ever built a gingerbread house. Really? Yeah. It's the first time ever. Uh -huh. I've never in my life built one. So I'm like, no idea. This is fascinating. I always see it with like the little kids in Scandinavia, you know, but I've never like been there when you do one or do one. She gave me a, a task because it's kind of like really, I'm gonna have to really concentrate because she wants me to go down the rooftop all across and all up here without bumping into anything. Should I say it for free? <laughs> do, get the do you want me to just prepare your tea? Yeah. I'm gonna prepare it here. <laughs> And the cinnamon apple spice. This is the one you mean. Yes. My aunt Laura gives me this. This is how we discovered it, and now we are like obsessed with yes. it. Yes. Bread house in Don't the United eat. States. Maddie, no, we need that for the whole room. Oh, give me one. I love M Ms. I've been waiting since yesterday. Who is most likely to has a resting bitch face? <laughs> You for sure. <laughs> yes. This is for sure. It does not matter where you are. You're in the middle of a place that's packed. You're in an event, you had a party. There's a lot of people there, restaurant, gala, whatever you name it, on the street, wherever you are. You can look at Gabi and she is just standing there with a resting bitch face. But I'm happy. She's right. super happy. She's happy like i'm always like smiling and i am very like friendly if you come talk to me i'm going to make you feel like very comfortable <laughs> right I, yeah i don't have that ability I'm so like i that. love that like i love like talking to a person and really connecting with them and i can do that very quickly and gabby is, is just a complete opposite in me she's an amazing human being like i can't imagine I'm not mean. I'm just... no i cannot imagine my life I honestly without excited. gabby but Without Gabby in my life, I would be a disaster. <laughs> so who is more likely to just need five more minutes? You, <laughs> you for sure. I'm in the car. I won't believe you. Who is more likely to me. actually read the instructions? Me. Definitely me. you. She, you try to fantasize how that works, and I'm like, no, but it says here that you <laughs> and you're like, oh yeah, right. <laughs> I am so lazy to figure it, to like sitting there to read the directions of how something works. I am more like I pick it up and I'm like, okay, I, I'm gonna make this work. So most of the time it works, but then there's it takes times. Double the time. Yeah, there's okay. sometimes I get really stuck, and Gabby is like, let me read the directions, and I'm like, yes, here. <laughs> I'm like, I want nothing to do with that. Spends hours deciding where to get food. I always eat the same thing in the same places. Sí, pero si yo te digo, let's say, uh, you want Chinese or you want Thai? You first say Thai, and then after five minutes you're like, wait, Chinese? And I'm just like, well, you said Thai. 
Okay, but then and I'm like, what about Greek? And then you just get super confused, and you're like, I'm just like, oh. trying to please you. I don't want I to. Know. I don't want it to be like I am dictating. You're not dictating anything. I just want to know what you want to eat. Okay, fine. Yes, yeah, you're right about that. But here's the truth. This is you need to understand. I always eat in the same restaurant. Like I eat the same food in the same place in the same plate. I have my restaurants. I know they're gonna give me good food, good service, and like I don't stray. Then we I go there for one week straight at Chibriani. Well, <laughs> anywho, in London. My whole point. <laughs> My whole point on why I don't venture off when we are like, let's say, ordering in Uber Eats what we're going to eat or where we're going to go, like, like what we're going to order home to eat, is because the times that I have made a decision to order in or I have made my own decision on what to eat in a, in a restaurant where I usually don't go to, I always end up with the worst plate and she always ends up with the amazingly delicious plate. So I always end up asking her, hey, can I have some? Can I have some? And she's like... Mari, I told you to order this, but you didn't because you wanted to order something else. And so, you know, just because of that, she wins in the, the don't you agree? Yeah, but also, you need to be more adventurous with food. Because not every place does the same thing the best. I'm only used to eating the best of the best of the best because you cook for me. Yeah. She feeds me. If not Gabby, the gingerbread house that looks... No. Who is most likely always falls asleep on the couch. Gabby falls asleep as soon as she gets into a car. You've seen it so many times probably. <laughs> I'm so sorry Gabby, but like, I always make sure you look cute, but yeah. I never fall asleep. No. I'm always like, like why you Que lindo. It's pretty like that, huh? Ah, que bello. It's so yeah. nice. Let me show you how nice it is. This is my Christmas makeup, just very natural, and I'm going to wear this Cleo Pipiat dress, which I love. Cleo Pipiat is a designer that's from London, and everything is like hand beaded, and it's so beautiful. We are going out to Christmas dinner, and I wanted to show you what I was wearing. This is a new dress, it's from Cleo Pipiat, and it's just so beautiful. The embroidery, everything is hand embroidered. This is a designer from London and it's just so so beautiful for shoes I am wearing these mules in nude color I prefer this type of shoe when I'm wearing a dress because it doesn't cut at the leg there's no straps cutting at the leg and I find that this is the most flattering and elongating your leg and this is what Gabby's wearing She's wearing a black jumpsuit with Gianvito Rossi. Yeah. I was just explaining to them why the strap in the back because it doesn't cut the leg. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, you never want to wear a shoe that like cuts you at the ankle, that has a strap at the ankle because then it cuts your yeah. leg. Your height. She's wearing a red lip. Yes. Looking good. Okay, let's go to dinner. Last minute, we decided that we wanted to go to dinner, out for dinner. And yeah. there's this little French restaurant from Paris that we discovered just like a couple blocks from the house. And it's gorgeous. Gracias. Una linda noche. Igual. Gracias. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Okay, let's go. No, but I have yours. Let's go!
We ordered the pavlova and it is to die for. It's delicious. And the thing is that you don't realize it, but to make a dessert that actually tastes really, really good in the United States, that's like a European dessert, is very hard because the ingredients are very different. But this dessert, it's the next level. If you ever come to Miami, you have to come here. It's called. It's a little French restaurant called Le Basilic, and it's on South Beach, and it's it's amazing. Wow. At least you know that if you ever come here, you're gonna eat. Everything is gonna be like anything perfect.